Good morning! I'm Charles, you may also know me as the Dr. Steam Powered Hunter on Tumblr. Um, I'm here to show you something that I've discovered recently, a uh, particular tip and trick that I think will help a lot of people with costuming and cosplay. Now let's get right into it because we don't want to waste any time. Um, now just a few examples that I uh, previously did. Here is... See, there you go. Um, these are really cheap uh, face paints, and I just rub them on with my finger. It's super easy. They go right onto the skin, and then they sort of become your skin. Maybe I'm gonna... Damn, this holy sunlight in my room. Um, here's another example. Um, this is. A uh, homestuck troll gray, I guess you could call it, with some red in there because it's, it's part of a costume that I'm doing for steam power drills here. Work. Um, but anyways, this is just some previous examples that I've done, and I can show you show you it now. Now, a good idea that um, I think a lot of people should consider is doing. Um, Paint is using paint trays like this. Now I've used this previously for our class, so it's caked over in acrylics, but that's not going to really affect your face paint at all. So you can use face paints on top of acrylics, wash off the face paint, and then use acrylics on top of that, and then let that dry and not worry about it. Um, now I've mixed up some gray here, which is a it's very very much a um, very close to homestuck gray, the homestuck troll gray. So it, and I'm just gonna let it dry in there, so I can use it later for a cost, uh, costume that I'm going to do that it's not homestuck, unfortunately. But you know, you have that option, and because face paints are water-based, you can let them dry. Drip a couple of waters in there. Drip a couple of waters. Drip a couple of drops of water into there. Rub it on. Rub on, Rub the water into the surface of the face paint of dried-in face paint, and then use that, or use a use a brush if you need to. Whatever you need. Um. Now I'm just going to go straight from a basic source, which you will be able to see when I just grabbed. Um, I'm gonna use black for this. Now this is this I bought a pack of like seven, six or seven colors or whatever. It's the basic color wheel thing that you can then mix them all together and make other colors. So you got green, yellow, red, black, white. There's a blue somewhere. I see a room here. Um. But again, just gonna use the black for an example. Now you will always want to shake them thoroughly and well before you use them. And just open it up. Uh, now you're gonna put your finger in there a little bit, and then get a little bit of paint on your finger, and just sort of rub into your skin this paint. Now I was using the camera for that. That's not a very good example. Um you're gonna wanna experiment a little bit more. Uh, make sure that your skin isn't gonna react negatively to your face paint of choice, what have you. Um you're gonna wanna do it a little bit more gently than what I did on my face. Um, but, just keep on rubbing, keep on rubbing, and you're gonna rub it till it's dry, and then you basically have it where it's on there. It's not quite caked on, it's not gonna flake off. Um, I've had that problem when I first tried face paints on my face, where I painted on and then it got caked on and then it was really ugly by the end of the convention. Uh, 
So basically, don't cake or try not to cake. Um, but yeah, just if especially if you're doing like a homestuck uh, cosplay and you want to get that perfect, your skin is gray, but you don't want to have that feeling of you know, oh, I have makeup on. It's perfect. I don't like. I can literally rub on this, and it's barely coming off. So, the cheaper brands of um, face paint that you might that you might be finding in um, Michaels, Joann's, whatever Hobby Lobby, whatever hobby store that you might find near you that that actually do carry. Um, face paints and stuff, if they're really cheap face paints, you can use this as a, as a really, really effective um, way of making your home stuck or your whatever cosplay that you're doing, whether it be steam powered giraffe or home stuck or whatever you might need face paints for. This is a really great thing that I literally just discovered about making a, making it look like it's your skin, making it so that it's not going to flake off. It's, Easily washable, you might stain your skin a little. Um, but other than that, it's a great, great example. I'm Charles, also known as the Dr. Steam Powered Giraffe on Tumblr. I said that wrong. The Dr. Steam Powered Hunter.